In this presentation, I will demonstrate how to take a CA Irwin data modeler file and use it as the source or the destination of an ETL process in Informatica PowerSense. First, I will open up the uh, Irwin model. As you can see, I have a nice snowflake model here with dimensional characteristics defined within the model. In fact, in addition, there is comments, there are even user-defined properties here. Uh, for example, the steward is John. All defined within this model. Now, what I want to do is take this model and export it out to a format that Informatica can then read. So I take my um, model here and make sure that it's saved first. And then I export using the meta integration export bridges that are embedded within the Erwin product. Now you can see there's an option to specify a source. Of course the source is this file itself that I'm looking at. But you're able to specify particular properties about that file and options for the export to the format of Informatica. In addition, when exporting out to another tool, you first choose the particular tool you wish to export to. In this case, it's Informatica Power Center. Specify a location for that particular uh, um, file, and uh, I'm going to put it in the temporary directory. I'm going to call it uh, pay first dimensional and it will get receive a .xml extension. Now I need to specify whether or not this will be a source of an ETL process or a target. In this case it's a source. It is my, uh, I'm sorry, it's a target. It is my fully dimensional model and it's going to be the target of the ETL. Right, well I'm ready to export, so I click finish. The bridge then saves this model out as XML format, uh, Irwin XML, and then parses that format and produces an Informatica XML file. Note, we have a successful export from the log, so I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go to my temporary directory. And within here I see that I have my papers dimensional model at, produced as an Informatica type model as target side. Now I'm going to start up the Informatica product. Sign in. And create a folder to put this information in. Call that Irwin export. And now I'm going to take that particular folder. I'm going to import objects. In other words, import my XML file that I produced. So I select the file out of the temporary directory. Notice we have all the table names here. I'm going to add all of them as targets within this particular folder in Informatica. Click Next. I specify that folder here. So it's my Irwin export. And then I make sure that the file is valid. There are no conflicts. For example, if I'm importing and there are already tables with that name, but there are no uh, conflicts in this case. Click Import, it will validate and uh, then process all those individual target tables. Now, that's the target of my process, and you can see, in fact, that everything has been imported in. I'll go to the Irwin export directory, 
and um, uh, bring in the configurations. And then view that within Designer. And note we have the target tables here. I'm going to use the tool which is the target designer and bring my target table in. Note uh, for each of these elements, again, we have all the information that we saw before. So for example, the descriptive information. In addition, we have what are referred to as metadata extensions. Note my user defined property steward came right across. Thus, all the information that we've done such a good job of documenting within the Irwin model is now available to the designer within Informatica and the Informatica ETL developer. Okay, so that is the first model. Now I'm going to create the same uh, type of uh, structure within Informatica, but this time I'm going to look at another model as my source for the ETL process. So I open up the Irwin model, in this case my source model. Note it's a relational, actually a third normal form relational model uh, representing a staging database. And I'm going to again go out and export to the Informatica format. Again, I can specify whatever I need to about this model, uh, specifying, for example, uh, different column orders, etc. Note that for each of these elements that I click on, the tooltip updates so you can see exactly what you should enter for each of these properties. On the destination side now, again, I specify Informatica Power Center. I'm going to give it a different name, though. I'm going to call it Paper Staging. It's still an XML file so that Informatica can read it. And I'm going to specify sources instead of targets. Again, I click on Finish, and Erwin will save this file out as an Erwin XML. The bridge will then process that XML file and convert it into an, another XML file, which is in the format required by Informatica as source specifications. Again, we look here and we see that the export is completed successfully. There are a couple of warnings, but these are unimportant to our uh, needs here. Now, again, I go to the repository manager in Informatica. Of course, in the temporary directory, I should see my new file, the paper staging. And for this particular um, uh, file, I again am going to import those objects, this time they are going to be source objects. Click Next. I have all my uh, tables now as sources. Click Next. Select the same folder to edit. So I had my Erwin export. Then I go ahead and ask it to resolve any conflicts. Again, no conflicts and click finish and now it's going to import all those tables as sources in that folder. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close my designer now and open it up again only this time with the updated repository, the information that I just imported and so now we see the sources and the targets now what I can do is I can build up a mapping between these two. So for example, I go to my mapping designer. And I take a source, let's say for example, that assignment. Okay. And it asks what to call the mapping. That's a good default name for my purposes. I also bring in a target. And now what I have 
is my source specification, my source query against that element, and a target, and I'm ready to go ahead and map everything across. And note, it even tells me what are key fields. It tells me foreign key, primary key relationships. All that is available out here. And um, everything is defined. So if I'm wondering, OK, supervisor ID, exactly what does supervisor ID mean? I have the full definitions of all this information. So let me go to properties and metadata extensions, and you can see description here. I even understand who the steward is. I could have had other information. So for example, many people in Irwin have specifications about source fields. I could look here and find that information and then reuse it when I am creating these mappings. There we are. So I have now built up my ETL within Informatica simply by taking the Irwin specifications of the databases and using them within Informatica. And I'm able to do that by using the Meta Integration Export Bridges.